Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Audrey and I'm a full-time caregiver for my daughter, Autumn, who has Down syndrome and autism. So if you're into that sort of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe. I am so excited because I got all this stuff to do drum fit at home. And that's what I will be sharing on this video. So stay tuned. I just got up and Autumn's already up. Good morning, Autumn. Do you want to eat? Okay, I'll make you something to eat. What are you watching? How are we watching Spongebob? <laughs> Her favorite show of all time. Autumn, is it your favorite show of all time? Spongebob Squarepants? E or no? Oh, you want me to leave you alone? Is mommy bugging you? Autumn is going to have her usual breakfast today. Although, I think we're going to have blueberries today. So, we're going to have some blueberries, a Greek yogurt, some milk, and some toast. So, my goal today is to get all this party stuff cleaned up. Also, to get some exercise with Autumn. Right, Autumn? I want to have her do drum fit today. I talked about it in another video, but I finally have all this stuff to do it. So that's what I want to do today with Autumn. Hopefully she's going to cooperate for it. Okay, so here we have it. 60 grams of blueberries, two slices of toast, and Greek yogurt, and some milk. I'm trying to get more calcium in Autumn's diet. And she usually sits in the spot right there. So we'll see how she reacts to sitting in the dining room since the party stuff's here. I mean, she's kind of used to that now, that when there's a party stuff out, she has to sit in the dining room. So... Let's do it. Let's see. Autumn, breakfast. Do you want to eat? You want to wait? Do you want to eat yes or no? Autumn, do you want to eat yes or no? Okay, well, I'm going to go put it in the dining room. And if you change your mind... It's in here, okay? So I was gonna show you guys the stuff I got for drum fit. So this bucket I've had for a little while, I got it from Target. And I got this 55 centimeter stability ball and I ordered, I actually got this at Target. Obviously that's the Target brand, if anyone wants to say hi. And then I got these multicolor luminous drumsticks on Amazon. So I think you have to charge them ahead of time, but I didn't charge them yet. So yeah, we're going to try it out. We're going to do some drum fit. So what you do is you blow up the ball, obviously. You stick it in here, and then you drum it with the sticks. So I'm excited for Autumn to try it. I don't know. She likes it at school, so I'm hoping she's going to like it. It's a way for us to get some exercise together. Hi, Benny. Hi, Benny. <gasps> Who's my good boy, Benny? He always likes to see what's going on. Autumn, are you going to eat or what? It's ready for you, girl. But definitely gotta clean this mess up today, Autumn. Well, it's not really a mess, but. Do you want milk? Okay. Wow, she actually didn't protest. So that's really, really good for her. She usually will like protest like crazy when we move things around, but she's been good about pivoting. She's been really good about pivoting lately. I don't know if that's because of her age. She's growing up, huh? I gave you blueberries. Does that sound good? I gave you milk, okay? Is milk good? Good. Good. Okay. I love you. Mwah. I love that shirt. That shirt says, I got this. I want to show you something I want to do today, Autumn. I want to do drum fit. Does that sound fun? Yeah. Okay. See, Mommy got you a ball. I got you drumsticks. And I got you this so we can do drum fit. Yeah. Does that sound good? Okay, mommy's gonna blow up the ball. I'm gonna take out the sticks and stuff and pull it out. Does that sound awesome? Obviously you have to get dressed first, but Benny thinks it's awesome. Benny, do you think it's awesome? All right, so this is what came with the ball. It looks like it did come with a pump. So I do have an electric pump I can use, but Ooh, it's like a light, light blue color. I like it. All right, let's blow it up. 
<laughs> okay, so far it's actually ballooning. I'm pretty fast with this thing. Benny is really interested in what I'm doing. He's like, ooh, what is this thing? <laughs> Benny, is that a ball? <laughs> yeah, it's a ball. There we have it. We got the like 55 size ball because of Autumn's height because she's so short. <laughs> and that was the best one for her. So the bigger one, not so much for her because if she sits on those ones then she could really hurt herself and fall off. So as long as it fits into the bucket, we're good. All right, it fits in the bucket. We're gonna try this out. <laughs> you guys wanna know something I learned today? This ball came with like this plastic tape thing and I was like, what is this for? So I read on the instructions, you're supposed to measure it around the ball and make sure that you measured it to the right size. So. I, I follow the directions. It's only a tiny bit off, but it's the right size. <laughs> so if you're ever wondering what this tape thing is that's inside of your exercise ball, that's supposed to measure it. <laughs> All right, first things first. Let's turn on some YouTube and see if we can find the videos. I have the drumsticks. They're not charged, but I have the drumsticks. Oh, these are cool. They're really big. Guys, look at it. It kind of looks like lightsaber lightsabers. I'm definitely gonna charge these, but they're a lot bigger than I thought. Benny is so funny. Benny is like, he wants to be right by me. He's like, what are you doing, mom? What are you doing? <laughs> Look at it, they're so cool. When I charge them, they're gonna be even cool. Oh, they, I guess they do work. Look at it, that's so cool. Benny's <laughs> like, what in the world? <laughs> Mom, you're crazy. We'll rock you, yeah! yeah, 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 Show mommy which one you like. Everyone, this is the no. Okay. Well, I'm trying to find one that you like besides Queen. You like this one? No. You like this one? Okay, hold on. I think the only one she really likes is Queen. Do you like any of the other ones? Yeah. That one, okay. Good job telling me. Okay, they make, we like the kids bop one. Make some noise. Ready? Okay. Set? Ready? Adam wanted to break, but I was trying to show her how to turn these off. So Adam, turn it off again. Show mommy with your finger. It's 
It's not that hard, but it's kind of tricky. Push it with your nail if you want. There you go. These are so cool. Definitely the best purchase. I'll be sure to link these in my description. Definitely worth it. Super fun. I love it. But Autumn did awesome. You did so good. Give me a high five for how awesome you did. Do you want to do more later? Yeah. Yeah? You're yeah. warm now. You want something to drink? Mm. No? Okay. All right. So the next thing on the agenda today is to get this all cleaned up. So let's get it done. show you guys a little hack with these confetti balloons because you don't want to just pop these all willy-nilly if you do that the confetti will literally go everywhere so what I do is I just take a little just cut a little slit in it just let the air out slowly you got to be careful when you cut the slit though because sometimes it could pop the balloon and then just kind of pull and there you go you won't be getting confetti all over the place best thing ever also i reuse my mylar balloons i've talked about that before but i always reuse them so how to reuse them is you take a regular straw and you just push it all the way in until you hear it engage and here until you hear the air start coming out and then you just push it that's it and you're gonna reuse all your mylar balloons I wasn't really sure how Autumn would do at home with the drumpet. I was like, well, we'll see what happens. You know, she has a lot of fun doing things at school. And then once I try to implement it at home, she's like, eh, not so much. And I don't know if it's because that's the atmosphere at school. But for this, she did amazing and she loved it. And she kept asking for more. She kept pointing to the videos on which drumpet like routines she wanted to do. She did it for like over 30 minutes. So I was super excited. I was like, ooh, we're getting some exercise. It can be so difficult to get your kids with disabilities, especially physical disabilities, exercise. And it's something that's so important to Autumn because people with Down syndrome are more likely to have obesity because of other health problems and also mobility problems. And also not having the proper diet. After puberty, people with Down syndrome tend to gain a lot of weight. That's very normal. And it has to do with diet and it has to do with exercise. And some people with Down syndrome have mobility issues. So that's a whole nother issue on top of that. So being really strict with your diet is key on keeping the weight off. And unfortunately, there are a lot of behavioral issues with people with Down syndrome being stubborn and being stuck in their ways on how they like things. And that's not for everybody with Down syndrome, but with a lot of people with Down syndrome. And this can also be true for people with autism. They're very stuck in their ways. They don't, and this isn't for everyone, but, but generally. They like things a certain way and they like a certain food and it's very hard to get people with disabilities to exercise and find things that they like. So if you do find something they like, you gotta stick to it. You gotta be consistent you gotta be disciplined and you gotta keep it in their routine. I am so happy to report that since we did change Autumn's diet, she has lost a fair amount of weight. She's doing so much better and she's so much healthier. She's so much more mobile and she's so much more active. She still does struggle with long walks, but she's really made progress on this. Like she really can do a lot better than she used to. Anyway, she's finished with summer school and we are having all this free time. So I'm gonna try to do a drum fit every day. Maybe not Saturdays and Sundays, but a little bit for like 30 minutes. I'm gonna try to do the just dance with her. I'm gonna try to do the trampoline with her. She loves going on the swing and it's not really exercise per se, but it's better than sitting on her iPad. The thing is, is I don't want her to sit on the iPad all day long during the summer. That's the goal. So I do want to try to go to the water park. I do want to try to go to the beach. I want to try to do all these things, but we will see what happens. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Lots more videos to come, so stay tuned. And let me know in the comments, what is your favorite summer activity to do with your family?